It's been a much warmer winter than normal. We might be surprised to learn that it is still winter. And while many of us here in the low country enjoy the spring like temperatures, it means insects are coming back earlier than usual. News News Macy McLeod is live in Mount Pleasant with more on what local governments are doing to combat the early return of the mosquitoes. Hopefully you are wearing repellent where you are, Macy. Unfortunately, I am not, Carolyn, but this is actually all it takes. Just a bottle cap full of water for mosquitoes to start breeding right in your backyard. Now, Charleston County says it's the gnats and no that are bad right now, but that means the mosquitoes are on the way. The gnats especially at this point are terrible. Out here at the dog park, people are constantly swatting their faces and leaving early because of the bugs. Which people say is not common for this time of year. With the warmer temperatures comes the early pollen and bugs, but <laughs> it's a pricey pay, I guess. I don't think the eggs or the larva or whatever it was that usually gets killed off in the freezes, I don't, that didn't happen this year, and I think that's what's making it worse. So Charleston County government is using this week to make sure people know how to best prevent mosquito breeding on their property. The biggest key is dumping standing water, which could accumulate in toys, pet dishes, and potted plants. We probably could be better about it. I do have some planters. We have an irrigation system that waters, and then the water sometimes sits in the bottom of the planter, you know, the tray. Um, I should probably be better about emptying those out more regularly. Because in the low country, it's hard to escape the water. So through Thursday, Charleston County is going to neighborhoods in Mount Pleasant, West Ashley, James Island, and North Charleston to give some tips. I live at the edge of a marsh, so there's not a whole lot I can do. I can keep the standing water out of my yard and change my bird baths often, but I can't really do much about the marsh. Cleaning gutters, fixing leaky faucets, and adding fish to ponds can also help minimize the mosquito impact in your yard. Now, Charleston, Berkeley, and Dorchester counties are all in a monitoring phase right now, and none of them have started spraying for mosquitoes at this point. But if you live in Charleston County and you're a beekeeper, organic farmer, or you have chemical sensitivities and you want to be notified about when they start spraying, this is the number you can call. It is 843 202 7880. And I'm going to post that phone number online at countonto.com. Live in Mount Pleasant, Macy McLeod, News 2.